What happens when we have an equation in which variable terms appear on both sides? Well, remember for the moment we're only dealing with linear equations in one variable. So an equation that has variable terms on both sides will look something like this. 5x plus 7 equals 3x plus 23. Notice, if the expressions on both sides need to be simplified, we may need to simplify them to get to this point. So what should we do with this? Well, in order to solve this equation, we're going to take a moment and identify the general principle of solving equations. As we continue and learn how to solve more complicated sorts of equations, the general principle that we'll follow is to identify the worst thing about the equation and make that thing go away. So in this equation, the worst thing is that it has variable terms on both sides. Our first step, then, is to make one of those variable terms go away. How do we do that? To make the variable on both sides go away, well, we'll choose which side's variable term to get rid of, and then we'll add its opposite to both sides. So, in my equation, 5x plus 7 equals 3x plus 23. I'm going to choose to get rid of the 3x on the right. That was a choice I made. You should try for yourself and see that if you make the choice to get rid of the 5x on the left instead, you still get the same answer. So to get rid of the 3x, I want to add a negative 3x on the right. I also need to add a negative 3x on the left. Notice, I did not write these under the constant terms. I wrote them underneath the x terms because those are the like terms that I'll now combine. 3x plus negative 3x is 0, so that cancels out. 5x plus negative 3x is 2x. On the left, I have 2x plus 7. On the right, all that's left is 23. And now this is the kind of equation I've been solving up till now. Now I'll get rid of the constant term on the left, or in general, I'll get rid of the constant term on the side with the variable, in this case adding negative 7 to both sides. On the left I'll have 2x. On the right I'll have 23 minus 7 which may seem like a job for the calculator. It's 16. And finally, I'll get rid of the coefficient. To do that, I'll want to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 2, so multiply both sides by a half. The half and the 2 cancel out, and I'm left with just x on the left. Half of 16, that's 8 my solution is x equals 8. Let's check and make sure that that worked. I have 5 times 8 plus 7. That's 40 plus 7, which is 47. That's the left-hand side. On the right, I have 3 times 8 plus 23. That's 24 plus 23. That's again 47. Notice that these are the same, so that actually checks out. So the procedure for solving a linear equation in general, then, First, we'll simplify the expressions on either side if we possibly can. 
Then, once they're in simplest form, if there are variable terms on both sides, we'll get rid of the variable term on one side. Once we only have a variable term on one side, we'll get rid of the constant term on the side with the variable. And finally, we'll get rid of the coefficient of the variable, again, if there is any. So let's see an example where all of these steps are required. Let's suppose that we want to solve this equation. 4 times x minus 1 in parentheses minus 8 equals 6 times 3x minus 2 in parentheses minus 7. Our first step is to simplify the expressions on either side. So the expression on the left is 4 times x minus 1 in parentheses minus 8. I'm going to rewrite that as 4 times x plus negative 1 plus negative 8. My first step is to simplify this term by distributing. I'll have 4x plus 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 plus negative 8. So I'll have 4x plus negative 12. My expression on the right is 6 times 3x minus 2 minus 7. I'm going to rewrite that as 6 times 3x plus negative 2 plus negative 7. Distributing, I have 18x plus negative 12 plus negative 7. So 18x plus negative 19. Okay, putting those back together, then my equation is 4x plus negative 12 equals 18x plus negative 19. And now I'm ready for step 2. I need to get rid of the variable term on one side. Now I get to choose which side I get rid of the variable term on. And I'm going to choose to get rid of the variable term on the left because that's going to give me positive numbers for my coefficients. Right? So I want a negative 4x on the left, a negative 4x on the right. 4x and negative 4x cancel out, and so all that remains on the left is negative 12. 18x minus 4x is 14x, and then I copy the plus negative 19. Okay, now I need to get rid of the constant term on the side that doesn't have the variable. So that means I need to get rid of the 19. It's a negative 19, so to cancel it out I need a positive 19. I'll copy the 14x, and maybe I want to use the calculator for negative 12 plus 19, and I get 7. That was step three. And finally, step four, to get rid of that coefficient, I want to multiply both sides by 1 14th. The 14 and the 1 14th cancel out. 1 14th times seven is 0.5 
or a half, whichever you prefer. So I get 0 0.5 equals x, though often we prefer to write our solution as x equals 0 0.5. That's our solution. Let's take a moment and check that. Plugging into my very first equation, I have 4 times 0 0.5 minus 1 minus 8. So 4 times negative 0 0.5 minus 8. That's negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10. Plugging into my right-hand side, I have 6 times 3 times 0 0.5 minus 2 minus 7. So that's 6 times 1.5 minus 2 minus 7. That's 6 times negative 0 0.5 minus 7, which is negative 3 minus 7 which is, again, negative 10. Notice those are the same, so that really does check out. x equals 0.5 really is my solution.